Wafi Ol Yahya is an official of the Arab Movement for Azawad, an armed group made of the Arabs from northern Mali. The Mbera camp at the border of Mali and Mauritania is full of people like him, exiled fighters of some of the armed groups in northern Mali. Wafi says France is involved in an unjust war in his country. The problem of the north of Mali is not a terrorism problem, it's an old problem. These people have been marginalized since independence, and France bears a historical responsibility as the region's former colonizers. We encourage them not to leave the issue in the hands of African countries, as they can't differentiate between terrorists and ordinary people. The group until recently called itself the National Front for the Liberation of Azawad. It's loosely allied to the secular Tuareg movement, MNLA, and wants the people of northern Mali to have the right to self-determination. We're not insisting on just one solution. What's important to us is that there be a just and final solution. These people are tired. Every five or ten years there's a rebellion in the north because Mali is a failed state. As the conflict continues, feelings of separatism are becoming more intense in the camps and particularly among Tuaregs and Arabs, who feel even more aggrieved after fleeing from their country. We want separation from Mali and nothing else. We will not be satisfied with anything short of full independence. But they know that realizing the dream of their own homeland or even coming to some sort of understanding with the Malian authorities will take time. And so most are preparing themselves for a long period in exile. These people say they're not willing to go back to their homes as long as the Malian army is in control of the north. They're now calling on France and the United Nations to initiate peace talks between the people of the north and authorities in Bamako. Talks aimed at finding a final solution to the crisis. Mohamed Ado Al Jazeera, Mbera refugee camp on the Mali-Mauritanian border.